Telephone Poles by John Updike. They've been with us a long time. It will outlast the elms. Our eyes, like the eyes of a savage, seeing the trees in search for game, run through them. They blend into small town streets, like a race of giants that have faded into mere mythology. Our eyes wash clean up belief, lift incredulous to their fearsome crowns of bolts, trusses, struts, nuts, insulators, and such barnacles as compose. These weathered incrustations of electrical debris. Each a gorgon's head, which if seized right could stun us to stone. Yet they are ours, we made them. See here where the cleats of linemen have roughened a second bark onto the bald trunk. And these spikes have been driven sideways at intervals handy for human legs. The nature of our construction is in every way a better fit than the nature it displaces. What other tree can you climb where the birds twitter, unscrambled, is English? True, their thin shade is negligible. But then again, there's not that tragic autumnal casting off of leaves to outface annually. These giants are more constant than evergreens by never being green. <laughs>